back end of last year, I um, I posted on the forum saying, does anyone want any pictures doing? And uh, I had a reply from uh, someone called Ariok. And they sent me a composition of three pictures in a row, you know, from three different games. So you've got Elite and Elite 2 and then Elite Dangerous. And they all look quite definite and different as well. So it's quite a funky little thing that he sent. And I thought, what a great image to do. And, and it, it obviously evokes such a lot of happy memories. It's dead clever. <laughs> I quite like the opportunity to try it in three different media as well. So I use me white paint marker, did a really <laughs> shoddy job of it to be honest but I quite enjoyed doing it if I'd thought about it I'd have taken more care and, and, and squared off the corners of each one of the lines because it was got the vertical and the horizontal lines which are making up all those diagonals but I think I, I, I wanted the overall general effect the one I started with was the, the Elite 2 one which was real flat tone with the the, oh, the traditional textures, the, 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 those those kind of blobby textures. I really quite liked the, uh, the I'm assuming it's, it's the Milky Way at the top in the background, which I did with vertical lines. And the asterism on the stars is vertical and horizontal as well. So you've got quite a lot of that same sort of, sort of forced geometry going on. And then completely lose it for Elite Dangerous, because there's a big old chunk of time has gone by between the two editions of the game. So Elite Dangerous is just streets ahead in terms of, you couldn't believe how, imagine playing when I first did on the BBC and the Electron and whatnot, thinking that that might be available one day and it would actually run on a computer that I could own and be able to see it. And having played it in VR, playing it in VR is just incredible and the, being able to look around you at space is just a completely different world to those lines. They did a good job with those lines though. The, uh, the illusion of three dimensions, it was. I mean, and, and frequently pointed out that it was uh, a real game changer at the time. But yes, I've, I've probably got um, fingernail clippings with, with larger data usage. <laughs> I don't know. And I posted this picture when I'd done them all. Then I put them together in Photoshop as a three in a row. I'll have to um, cut them up and mount them in a row before I send them out to Ariot in post. When I posted it on um, on the internet, I got these replies from people who were feeling exactly like me. They, I mean, obviously you're going to get some people who don't like this going, well, it's a rubbish game. We follow the elite forums, <laughs> obviously. Uh, but you get the vast majority of people just, just wallowing in that nostalgia, that feeling that we all get when we see those shapes, those pixels. And uh, I, can't, I can't get over just how many people like, through all these lovely stories about the right on commander messages and the, uh, the 1984 memories and people posting the, uh, the audio to the games. The do -do -do -do. <laughs> yeah, it is hugely painful noises that the, <laughs> that the, the computers could produce at that point. But it is just, just lovely to see people talking about like the wireframes and the spectrums and the in your youth you have this this feeling that like oh yeah I'm gonna have this career and 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 reading that little novella the the dark wheel sort of added to the the mystery and you, you required so much imagination to actually to get anything from the game anyway you were firing on all this imagination and it really it really added to it um, these galaxies you could travel through and uh, all these random generated names I love that they've kept on a lot of that in the new game you know Usarian tree grubs it, those whimsical things that give you those fantastic memories oh and the, the sound of the tape recorder the grinding soaring noise of the tape recorder loading the data on. <laughs> I find it hard to wait for the skip ad button on YouTube these days. Anyway, um, I, I'm going to stop talking. Yes, <laughs> I'll do another one in a few days. Bye. Thank you for watching. <laughs>